I ordered you to stand down. <laughs> SGC here, and today's movie review is Oblivion. Directed by Joseph Kaczynski, which was based off this unpublished comic that Joseph himself wrote. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's a lot of control for some dude. So, it should have been awesome, 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 awesome. So, if you didn't know, this film has Tom Cruise, Olga Kurinienko, Morgan Freeman, Andrea Rosenborough, and that's pretty much all you need to know. So, it's the year 2077, and people are not on Earth anymore and somehow Tom Cruise and Andrea are stuck on Earth and they're fixing droids because they need to like, I don't know, look after these huge machines that suck up water to convert into energy to send it off to like this other planet or space station that all human being is on now. So therefore, we must work together and be a effective team. And obviously, that doesn't happen and things happen and happen and happen. So what did I like about this film? The vibe. Post-apocalyptic worlds is interesting. I mean, because it's all up in the air of what you can do with this technology and what you can do with the characters because it's totally up to, like, this whole movie because there are no set rules and everything and you set them yourselves. That's why sci-fi stuff are always fun to watch or try to watch anyway. So Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise. He, he does not do anything here that's, oh my goodness, like, amazing, amazing, or wow, that was horrible. No expectation from him either. Andrea Rosenborough playing the partner of Tom Cruise on this like fixing droid platform thing is pretty amazing. I was actually surprised by her performance compared to what she was doing in the trailers. I was like, oh, she has a lot more lines than I thought she would. And her portrayal of a effective team member was pretty good. And to see like this foreshadowing of the whole like stuff about her and Tom Cruise relationship it was pretty interesting. And... I enjoyed her acting and I look forward to seeing her on the big screen once again. The whole just concept of like Earth being destroyed and yet they still have to be here and they're the only two people behind sort of reminds me of Moon. It's like, I don't know why do people leave humans being by themselves or now clearly even in pairs you do not work well and something bad happens because this is a film people, bad things always happen. So. Yeah, apocalyptic world, atmosphere was good. I mean, all the setting stuff up. The science -y things were kind of cool. The the, 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 the the hutch pads, wall screen sliding. Blah, that was cool. The plane, not so much. Didn't look that interesting. Weird way of flying. The droids were pretty intense. Those ball droids. And then, obviously, from the trailers, you know that Morgan Freeman is in this film. And he plays this leader of, like, there's actually people on Earth. Tom Cruise, you were sort of, like, misinformed. And now he's a leader. And there's a bunch of people. Actually, not just, like, a group of, like, ragtag survivors. But rather, a society full of people from the trailers. And I have to say, this is the bad part about this film. What I didn't like about this film was Morgan Freeman's whole society thing. Like, if there was a ragtag group of survivors, that would have been kind of cool. I mean... Even showing a Lannister in this film was not the saving grace. I mean, I wanted some, like, more realistic, as in, like, this society was actually important to this, like, you know, this this film. But it didn't really play a big role as, except for setting certain set pieces, but it was, like, you didn't need a society full of people. Maybe, like, a group of, like, 20 would have been done well. Like, brings up Colony. Colony had a good sort of amount. No, actually, no, Colony should have a whole society, but I don't know why they had an amount. Anyway, and then Morgan Freeman's, like, whole society thing had a way too much time spent on them for story-wise. They could have been cut down a lot shorter, and I would have totally enjoyed the film more, because they weren't really crucial to this entire, I don't know, like, storyline. Like, the things that they did for this story, a lot shorter. Would have been nice. Next up of what I didn't like, Olga, the Bond girl. Again, as a Bond girl, she didn't do much, and here she even had more screen time, but didn't do much either. I was totally like, Olga, get off the screen, bring Andrea in. I totally bought Andrea so much more, and Olga, ugh, like, I don't know how you're gonna redeem yourself after, like, James Bond, and now this. So again, if you've seen my Great Gatsby review, I was saying how the first half of the movie was really good, and the latter half was not so well. Well, this is the same case here. In Oblivion, the first half when the world is introduced, everything's setting up, and then like mysteries, mysteries, mysteries was pretty good, except for the last half, and when everything sort of unraveled, and then you sort of got to know what happened and what really is real and what is really, really real, then it's just like here, accept everything that we told you and have fun with it, sort of thing. And I was like, whoa, 
Like that's a, that's it. That, that that's it. Oh, that's that's too bad. Yep, I would totally like had the moon vibe. So go watch Moon people. Moon is so much better. Like though it's not as sci-fi y but it's another thing that really bothered me was the whole technology thing. Like you have this crazy flying by thing, I don't know, like and these crazy fixing droids and then you have this crazy sliding touch table wall. Yet, you can't clear a room of probes, but you have to clear the old-fashioned earthling way of using your eyes. Very outdated, Tom Cruise. Would have expected some more sci-fi clicks and, like, techy stuff, so that would have been better, but guess I didn't get that. That's it. I have nothing much else to say about Oblivion. It could have been a better film, and things could have been cut down, things could have been longer in certain senses. And the ending was, you gotta watch the movie for the ending, because I'm not gonna spoil that, because that's what movies are all about. Anyway, that is all for this movie review on Oblivion. We are an effective team. Me and YouTube, always. Haha, -ha, see ya.